What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome back to my Pokemon Y Wonderlock. This one being episode number four. So if you guys missed out on episode number three, uh, what happened was we made our way up through uh, Route 3. We got our encounter, um, which we were trying to avoid, uh, but we did capture a Burmy. Um, Wonder traded that one off and we received a Remoraid which is currently unusable. It's in the PC. It was a level 25 Remoraid, and currently our highest uh, leveled member in the party is Flare, uh, being level 11. So we can't use that one until Flare's around about level 15, 16. But that is okay. So Remoraid, it's got some potential Octillery. Yeah, yeah. Not bad, not my favorite Pokemon in the world, but um, the moves that Remoraid has was pretty useful, pretty useful. Uh, but yeah, so we continued through. We beat some preschoolers on Route 3. Uh, stole their money, of course. Got to steal their lunch money. Um, made our way to Santaloon City. And pretty much that's all she wrote. Uh, we battled uh, a roller skater rinker uh, outside the Santaloon City gym. 
and then we just did a little bit of exploring and that's pretty much all she wrote for episode three so in today's episode um the game plan is to make our way up here into the gym we want to beat the gym head over here to route 22 get our encounter here beat some trainers get some xp and then after that we should be able to make our way over here to route four and um yeah that's pretty much the goal in today's episode i don't think we're going to make it too much further through route four on our way to lumio city but yeah check this statue that is epic that is i definitely have that in my like front yard but that's sweet so let's um let's go uh so if you guys didn't notice as well i did have a quick grind uh, grinding montage um so let's have a quick party recap from the last episode so you guys can see where we're kind of up to now but yeah, so I grinded Gibble up to level 9. I was like, I don't want to quite go to level 10 because uh, we've got the uh, trainers inside the gym to beat as well. So we get a lot of XP off that. And now that Gibble, uh, Gibble actually learned Dragon Rage. So that's pretty OP. That's like 40, 40 damage. Like, there you go. Straight up. It does 40 straight up. Um, and a lot of the Pokemon down here barely even have 40 HP. So Gibble's pretty OP at the moment. I don't really want to over level. I still want a challenge in the gym. I don't want to kind of get too edgy with the whole Nuzlocke side of things to this one lock. Uh, but then I didn't, I left Taylor untouched as well because obviously we're going to get some XP and having Brave Bird is just, yeah, there's no need, there's just no need. And then we got Flare, so pretty much for this, for the Sentinel City Gym, we're, we're set. There's nothing stopping us from absolutely sweeping this gym, no worries, even with like, not under level Pokemon, but just like, not quite up to spec. Pokemon, but yeah, so that's the party recap. That's what we did in the grinding montage. I kind of like uh, explored the city as well I got uh, I got like a great ball from one of the people in the houses X attack X defense all that sort of stuff But yeah, so we're in the gym. That's sweet. So what's on the floor? It's kind of got like venom off uh, Venom kind of design on the floor, which is pretty cool. And what's old mate have to say? He always says something really funny So it says What's the hustle? Little crossover Welcome to the Sandalin City Gym. <laughs> oh my god, that is something I would totally say. I'll say that from now on. It's just like, what's the hustle? Little crustle. <laughs> so, future champ, this will be your first time challenging a gym, huh? Are you thrilled? Are you pumped? You should be. No worries here. You've got a Pokemon on your side. And really, they are the ones who are going to be doing all the battling. Am I right? Or am I right? Right? Oh my god, that's such an awkward situation. That's perfect. Jump on that pole there and you'll be on your way to where the gym leaders are awaiting you. Are awaiting for you. Whoops, but wait. Before you go, I'm supposed to tell you something. Everybody in this gym, Pokemon gym, uses bug type Pokemon. Got it? Yeah, I got it. You're all good. So what's that? Got like a nice little butterfree poster. Oh, what's that say? Nectar's Siren Song. Photograph of Viola. And then we got a Metapod. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying there. But let's go. Woo! That's fun. Damn, we're on the trampoline. AKA the spider web. So let's just start making our way through, I guess. I can't even remember like the way this episode may take long, because these puzzles always mess with me. Let's make our way up to old mate here. Hey, are you a challenger? Come on, show me your Pokemon. No, I don't want to. They'll be gone in the blink of an eye. Youngster David. With a ladybug. Who knows? This episode, may, we may only just get our encounter on Route 22, I'd say. And because these gyms always mess with me. So. Level 10. Whoa. Dragon Rage? Yeah, look, look at that! Oh, get wrecked! Get wrecked! Gibble putting in the finest. Good thing I didn't uh, continue that grinding. Dang! Gibble. The Pokemon you'd expect to like not be coming through in the gym. Um, so let's see if we can... No. What is life? I'm already lost. I am already lost. Let's get this way. Follow, follow the bubbles. 
So we're gonna lead up here. Over here, I don't know if this train is gonna want to battle. Nope, you can't get past. I don't know, should we skip that train? I don't think, you probably can. Yeah, so that's how you make it to, to the gym. Let's go back and let's battle old mate here. Just for lols, because um, yeah, I, haven't, I just haven't played this game for so long. But we got youngster Zachary with Spupa. Awesome. Go give a look at that. Look at this way. Dragon Rage. I don't know if I should go heal up. I, pro I probably should be right. Because there we go. Level ten. Awesome. Later, Zachary. Cheers. Wow, you evolved quickly too. 240 bangers. Cheers. Definitely be useful. We, we should be right. We should dead set be sweet to just take on um, Viola. Okay. Sneaky little train at the end. I didn't, didn't even see her. So we got last Charlotte. Charlotte. With a cocoon on. So once again, Dragon Raid should be just a one-hit KO. Yeah, wow. Wow, Gibble sweeping the gym. Literally, like, clean up at St. Lynn City gym. Gibble, you're needed. Can be. That's a weird cry. That is such a weird cry. I don't know if you guys could hear that. But Can be has a weird cry. Oh. Level 11, there you go. So it's like two levels straight up. And Gibble's pretty much in tight with Flare now. Ah, no fair. My web wasn't strong enough to keep you... Okay. She sounds like a like crazy psychopath, like girlfriend. Like wraps me on a web so I don't like cheat on her or anything like that. Oh, freaky. She's freaky. Awesome, check that. So, um, yeah, but let's make sure we save before we... Uh, Battle Viola because things could get a little bit sticky if you know what I'm saying spider web sticky oh god oh stop but yeah we're gonna we're gonna head in with Gibble oh, let's go that determined expression that glint in your eye that says you're up to the challenge it's fantastic just fantastic is this your first time challenging a gym fantastic oh my god whether it's the tears of frustration that follow or a loss of blossoming of that of joy that comes with victory fantastic they're both great subjects for my camera fantastic Fan oh my god fantastic <laughs> this this will be just fantastic now come at me my lens always focused on victory i won't let anything ruin this shot Hopefully I was like really photogenic then so. First Viola, let's go. You're challenged by leader Viola. Ooh, we, so we got that Surskin. I love the music. Alrighty, let's go. Let's see how Dragon Rage goes. Yeah, Bubble. Bubble's got nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, guys. We're... This is what happens when you get something that is just so OP. Like, just that one move. Um, let's just stay in with Gibble. So we got Vivion. We got the pink Vivi Vivi Vivion. Let's Dragon Rage again. Oh, that's scary. We got a She got a crit. Oh, okay. This is, this is not nice. Uh, I don't know. Should we heal? I think we should heal. No, actually that's, that's a waste of a potion. We, we need to keep those. Let's go into Taylor. Because Taylor should be able to take any sort of um, hit and then we'll dead set just Brave Burn. Yeah, we should be able to Brave Burn and that should be GG. Infestation. Yeah, 
that should be sweet. Laters, sit down. Good night. Clean up at St. Louis City Gym. Amity, you're required. There we go, level 10. Nice, so we got like a, an attack boost and like a nice little speed booster. Oh, two levels, okay. Good thing we didn't um, grind Taylor as well because um, I really have to watch my XP as... Oh, three levels, oh wow. Uh, we gotta really watch this boosted XP. Like I'm gonna turn EXP share off. Like I'm not gonna have EXP share on when we receive it. Oh, Gibble now, oh God. There we go. Because unobedient Pokemon will be my downfall. Uh, I may potentially get up too high, and yeah, that's GG for me. But you and your Pokemon have shown me a whole new depth of field. Fantastic, just fantastic. I get it. It's everything is fantastic. The world is fantastic. But uh, cheers for the money. Really appreciate it, babe. Young trainer, you. No, it wasn't you alone. You and your Gibble have shown me a, a whole new depth of field. F fantastic, just, yeah, I get it. Everything is fantastic, but your badge looks pretty cool, so cheers. Really appreciate it, Viola. I really appreciate it. Awesome, so we got plenty of time left in this episode. So Pokemon up to level 30 will obey me, so I'm just gonna keep tabs on that. Um, but yeah, so yup. Even if you get them from trades, perfect. Yeah, that's what what this let's play is all about. Infestation, TM83. That's a pretty cool word. Infestation. Using a TM like that one there lets you teach your Pokemon some new moves quicker than a shutter. Set to one to one thousand can snap shut. Yeah, keep keep the deets to yourself, woman. All these like I appreciate the tips, but um, yep. Take the stairs and be on it. You'll be back up to the entrance in a flash. Oh, oh I like the pun there. Be, be up to the entrance in a flash. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice little setup. She's got like her uh, studio lighting and everything in there. We'll head up these stairs. And in a flash. Find Butterfree. We're out. Awesome. Whoa, ho, ho, uh, would you look at that bug badge. Nice, a very nice feature, champ. I bet that's Skimsy Pants Professor who gave you your first Pokemon would be amazed to see it. After you heal up your Pokemon in the Pokemon Center, why well, don't you head on up to the Pokemon Lab in Limeo City and show it to him, huh? Yeah, thanks, mate. <laughs> yeah, I'll show it to good old Augustine. Oh, Gus, and so yeah, let's heal up. Let's go heal Gibble. This Gibble got work put onto him. For her. For him. I can't even remember. I think it's him. Tiano, what are you doing here, old mate? You've been resting in the gym since the last... In the Pokemon Center since the last episode. Alrighty, so we're all healed up now. What are you doing, mate? Oh, yeah, big A. There's a poke... Yeah, I... Hey, no... I do like the feature how they kind of like follow you around and like just hang out. But yeah, so we're all healed up now. There's uh, Rinka, good old lady Rinka, who hooked us up with the roller skates. So now we're at Route 22, so let's get our encounter for the route, but we're going to have to go past good old sweetheart here. She's got a nice hairdo. Um, who do we have first? Who do we have first? We've got Gibble. Flair's lacking behind now. That's okay, we'll, we'll keep maining with Gibble. Gibble's the, uh, I guess you could say the MVP for the episode. There you go, hey, a rising star Louise. The side eye. See, we still got that water weakness, which is a bit strange, because Gibble, Gibble's a dragon ground, so we got no resistance in the party at the moment, but I probably should have grown my way through it here, because this is going to be overkill. Uh, stop it. Probably should just use Tackle. Yeah. That uh, physically boosted Adamant Nature Gibble Tackle. And then we got Litleo. Let's 
to get. We'll stay with Gibble. Gibble will be up to level 13, then we can probably get uh, Flare. Flare back up as well. Let's just Dragon Rage, one hit KO. So we gotta get this encounter. I wanna see what we get in this next one to trade, Route 22's encounter. Oh, so Sandstorm. I think I want to land, land Sandstorm. That could be good, but it could be bad as well. I don't know. Uh, I don't really want to get rid of Iron Head. Tackle's nice just because it's a slightly weaker attack. We'll get rid of Tackle, I think. I think, yeah. Yeah, we'll get rid of Tackle and we'll learn Sandstorm just um, so we get some sort of a... Uh, Hacks move. I, I like to kind of have that kind of hacks on the side just in case things get a little bit rough because our wind could come down to that sandstorm, get the buffer. Um, oh, you might be even stronger than Viola. I definitely am stronger than Viola. You see these badges? So let's get this encounter because we got some more women's, some more women's up here. What do we got? While we're at such a high level, it should be pretty easy to capture these uh, po the Pokemon in these routes. So we're at level 6 Bidoof. I should be able to just throw a Pokemon without doing anything because... Yeah. Because, yeah. Let's go. I love it when I, I get like the quick capture where it's literally just like one wobble. Boom. There we go, the classic three wobble. Bidoof God may cause us some troubles. Because it is the god of the Bidoofs, of course. Let's go, that's one. No. Oh, I could sandstorm. Just talking about that now. I could sandstorm. Just to get some little chip damage off. So we stop wasting these Pokeballs. See, that's the downside as well. Our, our party's so high now that um, I should have really captured this, the Pokemon in this route before I, uh, I did the grinding. I, don't, I just don't think that far ahead. I really just don't. But we've got plenty of Pokeballs, so we should be able to get this Bidoof. Three. Oh, yes. There we go. I was going to say, you're taking way too long right now, Bidoof. But uh, everyone knows what Bidoof's going to get called right now. You already know. It is God. Straight up Bidoof God. Uh, it constantly gnaws on logs and rocks to whittle down its front teeth. It nests alongside water. Yep. Yep. That is correct. So let's name Bidoof. Straight up just G in capitals O D. A female Bidoof named God. Okay, so as you guys know as well. It is that time, we've caught a Pokemon, so we have to instantly want to trade it off and see what goodie we can receive in return. And that is my time of saying we have just hit pretty much the 20 minute mark as well, so what a perfect way to end today's episode with a one to trade. So come on. Goddamn internet, speed up. Wish I could get an MBN, just like something a little bit quicker. But let's go. Yep, one to trade. So there's the Remoraid that we got in the last episode. So what can we get with the Bidoof God? It's not holding anything. Offer it for trade. Here we go. Check out those teeth. Come on. I wonder what we could get. I, I'm hoping for something that's not too high leveled, maybe around the, tw the level 20 mark. 
18, you know what I mean, like your mid-teens at the moment. But we have uh, Shakira from Germany, North Rhine, Westphalia. Hey, Alice Carr. All the way from Germany, from Shikua. Sh Shikua. Ooh, we got a Kangaskhan. Please don't be too high level. That That is power. That is power. Get that Mega Kangaskhan uh, stone. Oh my god. So we got Kangaskhan. That is sweet. What level is it? Let's, let's check this out. That is power. That is straight power. So let's get out of here. Out of here. I want to get out. Into the menu. There we go, sorry. Sorry guys, um, uh, level 1 Kangaskhan. Okay, so what level was Badoof? Badoof was level 6, so we can rare candy uh, Kangaskhan up to level 6. But it's got uh, Comet Punch and Leer. I'm guessing they were uh, breeding for a shiny Kangaskhan. But as Scrappy, so it makes normal and fighting type moves hit ghost type Pokemon. That is handy. That is useful. I like that. I like, I like. Um, but it's a neutral nature. It is ser serious natured. So it's neutral, as you guys can see in the attack or anything. There's no like special colors uh, indicating that it is a different type. But so yeah, before we end today's episode, uh, we will just rare candy up Kangaskhan to level 6. So you guys can see that uh, nothing suspicious is going down off cam. We go, just make sure it's Kangaskhan. So we got level 2. 3. 4. This way, it just um, speeds up the process. That way, we're getting like an equal kind of trade, especially when it's a level one Pokemon. But there we go. So Kangaskhan is now level six, and it still just has Comet Punch, and yeah. So we'll just take one last look here. So it was from Luca. Luca, I think it was from Shiyuka. So she must have got this and then one traded it off again. So it's uh, like a second-hand Pokemon. That's okay, it's a female king, it's kind of com Comet Punch and Leer. But there we go. Uh, nice little way to wrap up today's episode. So we got some more power. King is kind of definitely a solid mon. A solid mon indeed. But let's let's stand next to the Route 22 sign. There we go. Okay, so in today's episode, we, we swept the gym. Awesome stuff. Um, so in the next episode, we're going to be looking forward to heading on... Well, we'll grind out this route. Head on to Route 4, grind that through, and then we should be at Lumio City, and then we, a lot of things should go down at the lab, and we'll get to choose our uh, Kanto starter as well. I think we'll potentially want to trade that one off too. I, it hurts me because it's a Kanto starter, but I think uh, being an event Pokemon, we're allowed to want to trade that one off as well. So that's something to look forward to. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed Episode 4 of my Pokemon Y Wonderlock, be sure to drop a like down below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in episode number 5 or another one of my Pokemon Trading Guide game openings. Thanks for watching. Peace.